would you like to take it away for the intro? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, blobbers and friends. Um, welcome to Blobby's Fit. Today's topic of conversation is none other than the illustrious Blobbe. Um, I'm really excited to talk to this goon over here about uh, his channel. And uh, it's been a year in the making. Um, really, really proud of you. Uh, I'm going to say Happy New Year because it's a new year. It is a new year. Uh, great. So how's your day been so far? And is it at all like what you expected? Um, and why or why not? Bobby? This day specifically? Yes, this day specifically. Uh, it's been delightful so far. I've gotten a lot of love from a lot of people. Um... We've gotten a lot of really generous raids, which is like a nice way to show affection on Twitch. Um, and we just got off of a mass co-op, so I play Hearthstone. And a lot of the other folks in the community who play Hearthstone, um, specifically Arena, came in to do a mass co-op. Uh, and we did two runs, and it was like... I don't know, piloting is already hard when you're co-oping with one person, but with like five people, it's a bit insane. Um, but it, it was like a, a really warm and, and, and nice chaos. Cool. But today's been nice so far. As to how it, uh, different than I expected, um, I don't know, in some ways it's just another day. I mean, we're doing some special things today, but. Cool. Yeah, and opening up to like the year. <laughs> um, how has your year been um, on stream? And is it at all like what you expected? It's been great. Um, we were talking about this a little bit earlier during the mass co op. I was kind of asking folks, like, has streaming been what you expected? Have you, have you feel like you've achieved success, whatever that means to you? Mm -hmm. And I go back and forth on that question for myself all the time. Um, and it's a little bit hard to think back to what I originally expected. Mm. I actually think my channel got a foothold in the community faster than I expected. Um, you know, the first couple months are always hard because it's just you and you, maybe your one friend that you're talking to. It's pretty lonely, but it wasn't long before I made connections with good folks like Isherwood and Sofa Plays, and they they helped me like I said, gain a foothold by you know bringing, inviting me onto their channel doing co-ops. Mm -hmm. it, it's a kind of like a, a mentorship without the explicit mentorship mm. part. Um, mm -hmm. That's a bit different than I expected. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of behind the hood work that you are supposed to do as a streamer to be like constantly improving your stream um and the the amount of that maybe surprised me a little mm. like the amount of work that it takes when you're not on screen because like you spend like twitch is 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 durational if you want to grow your audience you're more likely to if you stream long hours so you're streaming long hours and then you also have this imperative to to do like additional work, which sometimes I've been good at, sometimes I haven't. Mm -hmm. um, something that I really enjoy that I haven't been surprised by per se is how like friendly and supportive everyone's been, mm. at least in this corner of Twitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can you name your top three most memorable moments? On, on stream top three most memorable moments yeah okay i remember <laughs> the first 24 hour stream i did i don't remember exactly when it was a long time ago mm -hmm. um but i i remember like coming down the home stretch and it was something that i thought that i could do stay awake for 24 hours in the stream but i hadn't done it yet so i didn't know and i remember being so enthusiastic about the support that I got at the end of that stream that I like stuck around longer than 24 hours yeah. to, to chat. Yeah. Um, so that was like, uh, that was a big one. 
two other memorable moments. Honestly, my first co-op with Isherwood, we went 12 wins twice, if memory serves. And that that was like <laughs> coming on the scene like, hey, Blobby's here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was also really fun collaborating with him. Yeah. Another moment. Third most memorable moment. I, I'm i thinking back to, I guess, the first Blobby's Pit. Oh, you know what? I scratched that. First first Blobby's Pit, totally memorable. Um, we had some good folks on. <laughs> um, but I want to say Whisper, the, 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 the piece that we did together. Yeah, Whisper's yeah. absolutely at the top of my list. Um, do you want to contextualize that, or should I? Yeah, sure. Um, Fletcher... HS just asked uh, who I am. I am Angry B. I am a good friend of Blobby's. Uh, yeah, Whisper is a is a theater piece that uh, Blobby, myself, and the Elven Cat created. Um, it's sort of like a, it's like a guerrilla art piece because we just we did it without chat knowing. We did it live on Twitch, um, self produced uh, by a company that Blobby and I, co artistic direct, called Shoebox Theater Company. These two box theater collective. Oh my gosh, it's all tongue tied. Well, it used to be a company, and we decided we didn't like that word. We did, so yeah, much. <laughs> yeah, not a good word. Um, we're a company of fellows of, of artistic making uh, fellows. We keep each other company. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's better. Um, yeah, and uh, you have like a command to for people to, I to see it, right? Yeah, if you want to see Whisper, uh, here's the command. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's like a meta piece about a um, large part about st streaming um, and what it takes to, you know, manage a community. Um, and it's a lot about boundaries and mental health. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was, I would put that at the top of my list of highlights, I think, because I feel that when I'm at my worst and thinking about my career here, um, I get fixated with quantifiable growth mm -hmm. and I'm, I get stressed out like, oh, my numbers are a little down. What, did I, what have I done wrong? Should I be doing things differently? Am I not putting enough work in? Blah, 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 blah. All the little mm -hmm. Um, But when I'm at my best, I, I, I feel um, proud and inspired of things like Whisper because that was a, a, virtual theater piece that felt like it was essentially virtual you couldn't do it in a physical space if you tried and it also felt like it was pushing boundaries formally in a way that really excites me so that was a moment of synthesis of my twitch career and my theater career that i felt i felt really proud of playing in that way with chat and also telling a story that is pretty meaningful to both of us about Twitch and also about depression and also also about um, parasocial relationships is I think the term for it. Mm. Uh, how hard it is sometimes to set boundaries when you have a fan base, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Elvin Cat says one of the highlights of my year two Twitch or not. I miss you so much, Elvin Cat. I know, um, I know. Yeah, we should invite Elvin Cat over. Yeah, I was just thinking yeah. about you yesterday, Elvin Cat. <laughs> yeah, um, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but yeah, thank you for doing that piece with me. That was all, all three of us together. It was a really, really special um, experience. Okay, so what has been your biggest moment of conflict on stream? Can you recall? And what was it? And how did you or did you not work through it? Biggest could mean a few different things. Yeah. Um, so things can get pretty contentious in Blobby streams sometimes. They usually don't, and I'm pretty proud of, of chat for holding it down, but um, oh, you, you have always opportunities in the future to watch it. Mm -hmm. um, 
but something that we do here that we don't necessarily see a lot of other streams do is speak very openly about really any any old goddamn thing and that means that political discussions writ large are leaned into rather than shied away from mm -hmm. people get pressed i mean it's 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 uh it's 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 been remarkably civil overall and I think that a lot of amazing conversations have happened, but um, when your worldview that I, I say I, when my worldview that like I'm that I've come to over the course of my life that that I'm really trying to impart on as many people as possible, brainwash you. <laughs> <laughs> when that comes into direct conflict with um, folks's worldviews in chat. It could be really hard to work through. And sometimes you come away from it feeling invigorated and sometimes you come away from it feeling deflated. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was the biggest conflict, but there there was like a recent schism between me and, and a, a regular fan of the channel. Um, that a lot of you probably remember, it just happened like maybe a week ago, uh, where um, this person was around basically every day, streamed um, great... A great um, chatter, funny. Um, it's like insightful in all sorts of ways, but we just clashed on where to lay the blame, the blame for the bad things that happen in the world. So often that eventually it came to a head in a way that caused that person to hit the eject button and say, "I'm not coming around to you anymore." Mm -hmm. I respect that decision. Um, it's still a very bitter. I don't want to say bittersweet, but because it's not really sweet, but uh, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. Because when you are talking about things that you know a lot of people that bring up a lot of things for a lot of people, um, of course you're going to have friction. And you know, I told you before off stream, and I'll say it again that like you never know how you affect people, and um. I'm sure you've learned a lot from that person and they I'm sure they've learned a lot from you and we may not always be able to see like the um the outcome of how we've changed people um and I think that's amplified like being on an online forum and not even knowing what the person looks like on the other side of the screen not knowing what their day-to-day -day is like yeah. um you might know some of these details, but oftentimes you don't, or maybe you forgot, and there's a whole world on the other side that you're not privy to. Right. And there's a beauty in that, too, because people can still maintain an anonymity and can open up in ways that they wouldn't just walking down the street meeting a stranger. I think that's important, that distance, or at least the... the ability to have that distance, mm -hmm. because you can, in some ways, choose to be more intimate in this social interaction because you can always just leave the channel. And I think that's a really nice thing about Twitch that you don't have with like your family or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to tell anyone about it either. You don't have to tell anyone about what you do online. And often we don't really, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so this is like a secret oasis or a pit <laughs> mm -hmm. of uh, learning and and growth for a lot of people and of anger and frustration and sadness um dear diary today i went on blobby's channel again <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but yeah i think that's that's really incredible um and it it's obviously affected you and i'm sure it it, it affected them as well yeah so like what's your favorite thing about streaming <laughs> um and what do you feel you do best as a streamer Um, ooh. Yeah, making you talk about yourself in positive ways. Ooh, the horror, the horror. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to gas ourselves up. My favorite thing about streaming is all the money. Oh, no, Lord. it's not even remotely what profitable. <laughs> <laughs> um... My my favorite thing I think has been 
forming all of these relationships with people that are different than any other relationships in my life. And I think one of the things I do best is create space for people. Um, that's been an important part of my directing. It's been an important part of my teaching. And I think that I brought that skill set kind of wholesale over to Twitch. And I can make a space where people feel comfortable expressing themselves, uh, sometimes with vulnerable things that they don't share a lot elsewhere. And we can really engage and work through a lot of thoughts and feelings and ideas that way. Um, I'm really proud of that, and I will do my best to to keep that um, keep that core of the channel, um, even as we grow or shrink or whatever the heck. Um, but uh, yeah, it's that the the curation and um, and I think I'm also I think I'm also like more. I got a little bit more like entertainment training than a lot of people who get started streaming. So I think I keep things fun for people at the same time, which is a really important counterbalance because like people don't want to just come into the stream if it's always doom and gloom, you know? Yeah. Sometimes it could be doom and gloom and that's important. But sometimes you just want to hear a funny improvised song um, mm. or like dumb jokes or whatever. Hey, Onos. Uh, yeah, I guess Cosmic came by. And... Cosmic did. Cosmic broke his silence today on, on my channel. That Dang was it. really, that was really sweet. I miss them. Yeah. That's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I just would like to say as someone who's a good friend of yours, uh, I'm very happy that you found Twitch, uh, because Facebook was not appreciating you. Ah. <laughs> you were uh. able to have conversations on Facebook. Like, uh. I tried chat. I I you, tried. Were, you were mean. You were angry, though. You were you were an angry, man. And and I do, I do get a little mean on Twitch too sometimes, but usually it's to a purpose. Yes, but I think yeah, Facebook in twenty twenty one is a cesspool. Um, this is last summer, by the way, and our our country was revolting, in both senses of the term. And I picked a lot of. I picked a lot of fights with liberal <laughs> folks on Facebook that just went around and round and round and round and yeah. it was a bummer. But there's no anonymity. There is no you can't be anonymous on Facebook. It's literally linked to a profile. And there's yeah. literally people in the comment section going, I've known you for seven hundred years. Yeah. Or like, how dare you? Like there's no way that you can have like these sort of like unabashed conver the yeah, these kinds of conversations that really get it. But yeah, Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Ah. Ah. Um, <laughs> I I'm try not to go guy. there very much anymore. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you just kick up a little shit. Kick up a little dust. And a, then little you, a little toot. A little toot. Yeah, you're like, hmm, sounds like some lobby shit. Uh, but it's not an election year, so nobody nobody engages with the posts anymore. Right. But, but that's been, I mean, that's another way of putting one of my favorite things about Twitch this past year is like, the kinds of conversations that we could have here are so much more far reaching and and have so much more depth than I have ever had in a public forum before one open to anybody and I think part of that is the maximum diversity of backgrounds I mean you need to have the internet and that's pretty much it to be on Twitch yes right yeah it's deep like a pit this this um the space that you've curated for yourself <laughs> um Great. Um, what's something that you want to improve about the stream in the upcoming year, and why? I have a pretty big laundry list of what are mostly technical and aesthetic improvements, um, and I want to, I want to improve that to make everyone who comes by experience just a hair nicer. But I also want to improve that to let the new people who come by know that this ain't amateur hour, you know? I, I, <laughs> yeah. it's, again, it's that imperative that I, I, I feel to do things like um, like uh, go through a design process for more emotes and uh, improve the graphics of the stream. And I mean, I, I, could, I could go down the list I have of just like, oh, this little thing, this little thing, this little thing. So it's, it's really, I think this next year will be a year of a lot of incremental 
improvements on the like technical and aesthetic side, I guess. Uh, oh no's S. If we will we get emotes that don't scare me at night? No promises. No. <laughs> we gotta get emotes for for our cats though. That's yeah, that's top priority. There's so many good Simon and Bishop pictures. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Great. I need to also, but maybe more importantly, I need to improve. I need to like learn how, better how to protect myself. Yeah, like boundaries. Yeah, I'm, I've always been pretty good with boundaries, but finding a rhythm that is sustainable is like sustainable and productive is really the challenge for every streamer. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll have help with that too. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, that's really good. That's a really important goal to set for yourself in the next year. Um Yeah. Awesome. I'm really happy to hear that. Um Okay. You only can preserve ten minutes of one of your bots um in a time capsule for after the planet, you know, after the heat death of our world. Um an alien race is going to come and pick up this time capsule and they're going to find a 10 minute clip of one of your VODs. Um, which 10 minutes do you preserve for this time capsule? Oh, good Lord. Yeah. Uh, and they can man. understand English. Yeah. They oh, good understand. for them. Yeah. So much has happened. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's a hard one. It is a really hard one because I could go with like a really goofy improvised song. I could go with um, just like a really funny thing that happened. It's probably nothing Hearthstone related. I, I recall that at the... Hmm... Man, I, I, I would probably sift through, find the really good mass conversations we had, and just find an especially juicy ten-minute synthesis. I remember at the end of my second twenty-four-hour stream, there was a really good and contentious conversation about race happening, but that got derailed by by a butthead. But I'm sure we could find ten minutes that I don't know. Yeah, it has to be uncut. You yeah, you can't do a highlight reel, unfortunately. Honestly, a whisper doesn't count because that was produced. Uh, I, ooh, I think you may have stumped me. I have stumped Blobby. Oh wow! This. <laughs> This is like both a, a compliment and a neg at the same time. Let's pray to the chat. You have a symmetrical head. Why not shave the hair so it doesn't look so creepy? Wait, wait. <laughs> Ooh, long hair creepy. My sexuality threatened. Yeah. Well, uh, I really, really loved your uh, your whole aesthetic. Thanks. Um. I especially love one other thing that you do well is uh, wear that blazer <laughs> underneath. So um, yeah. yeah, we got to keep it sexy here every once in a while. Yeah, I can't say it's super inappropriate things because it's gonna go on YouTube after. So um, I've got an image to protect. <laughs> All right, now you got a challenge for you. Honestly, I don't know if this is what I would pick, but one thing that came to mind, I will say. Um, a, a 10 minute excerpt from the Blobby's Pit I had with my dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's what I would, I would maybe go th for something that I think would be more beneficial to aliens, but that's <laughs> definitely something that came to mind. Yeah, that's important. Okay, so here's a piece of paper, here's a pencil. No. Or a pen, rather. All right, Blobby. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. And you are going to write down all the words that come to your mind when you think of video blobby. And go.
Videography. Oh, that's very sweet. Me and my cute little thing. I think it's on this side. Is it this side? Yeah, it's that side. Oh, okay. I've given you. I gave you a minute by accident because I looked up at the compliment of me. All right. Now. Ooh, what? <laughs> Well, guess what? You've just, uh, you just given yourself a major challenge because now you're going to improvise a song with all of those words in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew you would go ham. We're going ham. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my damn. He <laughs> leaves it to be so matter of factly as the, bat as the valedictorian. Cruel. <laughs> yeah. Well, make make a. I got. I gotta make sure this is in tune. All right. Well, I'm gonna do some backup dancing to this. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Tell Chet something interesting. Make uh, me do all the work around here. Lol. Get out of here. And last time I checked, I see my name in that list. So, uh, I've at least done enough work to get get on your very long scribble doctor handwriting list. All right, chat. This is my last. That was my last activity for. You. And then we can order factory if there's still. But um. Oh yeah, it's pretty late, huh? Yeah, that's okay. I I knew that it would be late. Any chord recommendations? You're improvising the song. Okay. Hey, right, that's not bad. <laughs> oh, the video blobby and the video blobby and the video blobby and the video blobby is pink and round. He streams and he makes sound with his mouth, and the stream goes south when he's forced to play these games. He he's got fame. Community, he's rude, it is silly. The dumbass is clever, he's feisty. He's video you blob it up, little you blob it up, little you blob it up, little you blob it up, you blob it up, little you blob it you blob me. Goes into chat, he says, look at that, I'm feeling feisty, you better be nice to me. Angry comes around, Frankie's presents a mound. <laughs> Video <laughs> blob, <laughs> the out of information. <laughs> the Met some nice people. There's the church and there's the people you go in. You see, so fish you would and lots of other friends. <laughs> we like to play Hearthstone Arena. Ah, we got pits we talk about items and topics. La da da. Video blob, video blob, video blob, video blob, video blob, video blob, this introvert <laughs> likes to squirt video blobby, video blobby. He's got friends, they come to his dens. <laughs> oh, sorry. They <laughs> like to keep things earnest. Not like the one who goes to college, but I mean the adjective earnest. But we gotta be cynical sometimes too With the whole range of human existence we need to cover 
That's my lover. <laughs> video lobby, video lobby, video lobby. Mystery song. Yeah. Oh, he, <laughs> he turned into your assignment. <laughs> uh, A plus. Pretty sure I got all of them.